Hi guys, so this is Championship Manager 3 and we're going to go through the best cheap players you can sign at the start of the game. Now I know there's a lot more better players, well there, there are other good players in the game, but these players in this list will always be good or develop. So um, it's, there isn't as much variance with this list. Like there are, there are other players which 80% of the time will get good or become internationals or or end up at very big clubs, but these players specifically, 99% of the time, will always be good good signings. So you can either develop them and sell them on for a lot of money, or you can just play them straight away or rotate them, even in big clubs. So there's only, to start with, there's a goalkeeper. He's called Dean Williams. The only goalkeeper on the list. Obviously there's other goalkeepers like Rab Douglas, but for smaller clubs, you're not going to be able to sign them. But this guy straight away, 2K value. I think he's just signed for Telford, so you might have to wait if you don't have 100K. But unless than that, just offer like 100K and you can get him straight away. But you can already see with his attributes, he becomes a quality goalkeeper and you can start him for most teams. Probably not the top teams, but um, like if he was managing a championship club, you could put him in straight away. So he's a freak goalkeeper to start with. The next player on the list is Carl Laurie, uh, a utility player. Could play anywhere along the back or in midfield, or even wing back possibly. Um, he's only starts the game at 15. He values only 70k. So you put him on the short list or go in for him straight away. It's up to you. Um, but yeah, he's quite attainable even for a, even for a lower league team because Crew are actually in the championship in the first season. The next player is probably the best player on the list. It's Mark Smith. He always becomes an England international. He always performs well. And he, he's just as good as right back as he is centre back. But he's probably better at right back. Just for the fact his physicality. And he doesn't have like outstanding like marking or positioning. Even though they do improve. When you look back on him when he's about 21 or 22. But he yeah he is the best signing on out, out of this list and you can pick him up usually for around 100 150k sometimes it sometimes even lower than 55 so if you're starting with a club with a low budget then you might still be able to get him uh, another defender who's very good as well Tom White who's easy to get he's very cheap 25k as you can see straight away his core attributes are really good and he's a very good defender on the game. The next one, I, I, was, I wasn't sure whether to put him on the list or not, just for the fact he's quite difficult to sign. But sometimes you can get lucky if Bristol Rovers don't play him in the first season. But he's just signed from QPR back then in real life. So he's, he's much more difficult to get in the first season. But sometimes you can randomly get him after Christmas. But he becomes an awesome uh, central defender. I think his intrinsic value on marking is like exceptionally high, so that's why he performs so well on the on the match engine. So he's definitely always worth signing or putting on your shortlist. The next player on the list is Lee Collins. It's the Stoke one. He's at Stoke, so he they're quite a big uh, League One side, but you might still be able to sign him sometimes he gets unhappy so you can sign him within the first season as you can see like 220s already high determination bravery strength teamwork work rate just to he always turns into a good defender on the game the next one's Clark Carlisle Same with him. He's a bit more of a cultured defender, but he's still really good. And Black Ball, you can pick him up quite cheap, usually under 200k. So, yeah, he's he's obviously good on 0102, but he's even better on this version. Michael Barron. At Hartlepool, another central defender. His value is only 75k. And you can pick him up quite early on in the save next one's Kevin James sometimes he's hard to get but he's a quality defender here yeah, Kevin James at Falkirk as you can see already he's already awesome 
very quick, 17 pace, high strength, high heading, high jumping. The next one is Stuart Evans at Hereford. Now he's a really cheap one that you can always sign because his value is only 7k. So you can just get him right off the bat. And he's a, got very solid attributes and he performs well. This left back is insane. Kevin Samwith. He starts at Barrow, who are in the conference. Same with him, his value is only 7k. Um, you might have to pay over 100k for him because he's just gone to Barrow on the game or in real life back then. But yeah, you can see with his attributes already, he's a solid left back as soon as you load up the game. He always performs well. Um, unusual signing, you can sign the Spong, Richard Spong. Who start, he's 15 and he plays for a team I can't pronounce in Sweden. Um, but he's always worth signing, he always develops. Just if you're a conference team, you might not be able to afford his wages, but he's always worth signing. Now on to the midfielders. We've got Richard. I think, no, sorry, he's uh, still a defender. So he's at Tranmere. This is another one. He's a bit more difficult to get, but he becomes quality on the game. 17 at Tranmere. Usually becomes unhappy because he doesn't get played in the first season, so you can pick him up pretty cheap. Now onto the midfielders. So we've got Dean Keats, who becomes one of the best midfielders on the game. Defensive midfielder, right centre, left-footed. Um, he can basically play anywhere. You can possibly even have him as a backup wing back if you're using wing backs as well. Um, but he's more of a central player, but he becomes quality on it. Usually gets capped if he ends up at a big club. Uh, next one is Neil Musto at Cambridge. You can pick him up cheap because his value is only 40k. Man United youngster and he starts obviously at Cambridge. So you can pick him up really early in the game. David Wright. He starts at Crew. As you can see already, very good utility player. Can play anywhere in the defence or midfield. And he's either fitted, so he's a bit more expensive, 140, so you're probably looking at probably half a million for him, unless he becomes unhappy. But he's always worth putting on the shortlist. Probably this guy is probably one of the best players on the game as well, Jamie Shaw. Who's a defensive midfielder left centre. Pretty similar to Keats, but on the opposite side. Um, if you're using a tactic with um, lots of DMCs, and you could probably do something with Jamie Shaw and Keats here, but same with him. He's a bit more difficult to get because his value is 300k. But you can usually get him under a million in the first season. And he's always worth signing. James Collins, another crew youngster. Midfielder, right, left, centre. Um, his attributes are okay to start with, but he, like after about a season, they all got the, his attributes skyrocket, becomes one of the best midfielders on the game. And he obviously can play anywhere along the midfield. The next one's uh, another Scandinavian, Johan Amanda, who had a good career in real life. He was a bit of a wonder kid on this version, as you can see already, very high passing, work rate, and his dribbling goes up to quite high as well, and his pace and his physical attributes really develop. He's only 16, and you can pick him up quite cheap. Now onto the wingers and forwards, so we've got Courtney Naylor, it starts at Dagenham and Redbridge, but you can pick him up really cheap, 6k, like a defensive winger target man type. So yeah, you could have him holding up the ball down the flank. His dribbling's not high, but his, his finishing is really high. So if you, he's a goal-scoring winger on the game. Next one, probably one of the best players on the game, Tom Youngs. Can play anywhere in the attacking midfield or winger slots and up front. Some Usually his dribbling's a lot higher than that, but... 
it's his off the ball set pieces, his technique, his stamina, his high agility, and obviously he develops technically as well as he gets older, and he becomes one of the best players on the game. The next one's a big lump up top called Trevor Benjamin. He starts at two seven five, so he's quite difficult to attain unless you're quite unless you're one of the top division teams, but. He's always worth putting on the shortlist in case he gets unhappy. And you can see with his attributes, he's just an awesome target man. Stroke, defensive forward. The next one is older, but always worth signing. He's called Dale Watkins. His value is only 15k, but you can see he's a finisher. He's, he's basically like a target man attack type player. Um, lacks a bit of heading and jumping, but that does go up. But it's mainly his finishing. And his bravery, acceleration, always worth signing for that amount of money. Now, a very good poacher who usually gets unhappy in the first season. You can get him from Burnley, David Collins. You can see their high finishing pace, high work rate. Value's only 75k. Burnley don't play him at the, at the start, so you can pick him up as the season develops. And he's always worth keeping an eye on. And then obviously the Taunton, who starts at Jaw Garden, only 14 years of age. Very high dribbling, attacking midfielder forward. He can play he can play anywhere in this he can play either in the hole or up top, and he's equally as effective. Um, he is the wonder kid on this version. And he's always worth signing. Anyway, guys, drop in the comments if I've forgotten anyone. Like, I'm looking at more players that you can actually sign in the first season, and 99% of the time, I guarantee to always be good players, squad players at worst, or you can sign or you can resell for a lot of money. Um, so that was the list. So if you haven't played the game for a while, I thought I'd do the list so you can, you've got like a point of reference, so you can just type these players in your search or create your own shortlist. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.